So in this tutorial, we're going to uh, look at how you can tell if the proportions or percentages from two independent samples are the same or if they are different. And the way we're going to do that is by using this formula to calculate a Z value. Now, as someone who works in an office environment, the first question I get is, why would you want to go uh, to all through all of this trouble? Uh, can't you just look at the numbers to tell if they're different? And the short answer is, is that by doing this test, you can cut through the noise, uh, so to speak, of advocacy. So you may have some who say uh, the numbers are clearly different and we need to do something about it. Uh, you may have others who say, yeah, they may be different, but they're not different enough. And by clarifying uh, if there is a difference, you can make a rational business decision to determine if resources like time and money should be expended to determine why there is a difference. This is not going to tell you uh, to make a change, uh, much less what change to make. It is only to confirm or refute if there is enough of a difference uh, to spend those resources uh, investigating why. All right, so in this example, we have a before and after picture. Uh, maybe there's, there's some sort of a change that we, we made to our process. And what we want to know is um, after we've implemented the change, are we more successful, are we less successful, or is there no difference uh, to our results? As you can see, uh, we have uh, increased uh, the number correct uh, since we've made the change, but we've also increased the sample size, so we're processing more. Uh, so one of the things we can do is we can look at the raw numbers to see, well, how many are incorrect? Uh, so B3 minus, and you can see before we made the change, we had 57 uh, correct in the measurement period based on that, the sample size. Uh, we've about doubled the number incorrect, uh, but again, the sample size has increased as well. So again, we're really not able to tell, is there a real difference? Maybe um, our, our help desk is starting to get questions. Um, obviously, there's a, an increase in the number that's incorrect, but again, we don't know if uh, this is significant. So let's look at the proportion of before and after. And before we made the change, we're at 99.44% accurate. After we made the change, uh, we went down to 99.26%. So it's not looking too good for us. Uh, we've uh, increased the number that's incorrect, um, and we've decreased our, our, our accuracy, our, or the percent correct. So one of the things we want to do now is we want to know uh, is this uh, difference in the proportions of before and after, is that significant? And we're going to try to get this at a 95% confidence level. So at the end of this, what we'll be able to tell our leadership or our team is that with 95% uh, accuracy or with 95% confidence, we can tell there is or is not a difference uh, between before and after. And again, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate this z-score. Because what we want to do is when we're going to get this z-score, we're going to see where it falls on this bell curve uh, to see if it's outside um, our test area. So if it's if it's uh, greater than 1.96 or, or less than negative 1.96, if it falls anywhere outside of these two areas, uh, then we're going to say that there is a difference. But anything within the bell curve, anything within these two um, markers here, well, then we're going to say that there is no difference. All right, so we're going to break this down into its elements. And we're going to go with about five steps here, uh, seven if you count the final step. And so the first step here is we're going to get, we're going to calculate the numerator. All right, and so that's going to be P1 minus p2 minus 0. All right, so that's step one. And now what we got to do is we got to calculate this p hat. And the p hat is nothing more than the proportion of uh, the total population. Okay. 
All right, so that's p hat. Okay, and now what we got to do now that we have p hat, we got to do something with it. We got to plug it in here. That's not right. All right, that's different. All right, messed up on the formula there. All right, so now we're going to go and to plug that into the the, the denominator. Okay, and now we have the second part over here by n1. And two. And now that we have uh, C and D, what we need to do is just finish this out with the square root. And now that we have uh, we have the the numerator and we have the denominator. So that's A and E. What we're going to do is calculate the Z value. And we get a Z value of 1.74. And so as you can see, 1.74 is falling right about here on a bell curve. Uh, so it does not cross the 1.96. So we're going to say uh, with 95% confidence, there is no difference between these um, between these proportions. Uh, so after we made the change, even though the percent accurate has gone down and the number of incorrect has gone up, uh, there is no difference um, in before and after. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you go to the Lean Six Sigma office .com, uh, you can download uh, this workbook. Uh, this will allow you to enter in whatever sample size, uh, the, the number correct, calculate the proportions automatically for you, um, and determine if uh, there is or is not a change. It will uh, tell you that automatically based on whatever uh, confidence level you choose to use uh, for your business process. Thank you again.